Greetings and welcome to the Geek's Attic. This is a spoiler-free review of Star Wars Lords of the Sith. Star Wars Lords of the Sith. This is the fourth book written in the new Star Wars canon by New York Times best-selling author Paul S. Kemp. Now this book takes place after Revenge of the Sith and before James Luceno's Tarkin novel. Oh man, this book, right from page one, you're sucked in, you're sitting on the edge of your seat all the way through to the end. We have two main characters over here on the Rebel side. We have Cam and Isvil, both Twi'leks. Over here on the Empire side, the antagonists, we have the Lords of the Sith, Darth Vader, and Darth Sidious. Both sides written and handled with so much respect. Kemp does an outstanding job developing these characters. They each have their own voice and personality, and he just really makes these characters believable. You are going to love these characters, or you're going to hate them. And when I mean hate them, it's not because they're poorly written. <coughs> the Jedi. Now the plot of this book takes place on and around the Twi'lek planet Ryloth. It is loaded with beautiful destruction, rebellion, fear, anger, hate, suffering. It is loaded with... Palpatine just tormenting Vader with his past. It's sick. There is a moment in this book when Darth Vader loses complete control. It is the best five pages I have ever read in Star Wars literature. It's in chapter 13. It's the second half. Page 193. If you don't buy this book, if you don't have it, go, go buy it. Or if you don't want to buy it, go just go there and pick up the book and turn to page 193 and read it. Read those five pages. It'll blow your mind. It blew my mind. And it's not spoiling anything when I say it's obviously the Rebellion versus the Empire. The, the Rebels, you know, really punch it to the Empire. Just says it right there on the cover. You got Vader and Palpatine using the Force, doing their thing. Best Star Wars book that I've ever read. Canon, Legends, this is the one. Go get it. Go buy it. And read it. So I guess I'm going to have to give this book 5 out of 5 stars because it has the greatest moments that I've ever read in Star Wars. This one really takes the taco. I'm really looking forward to Christy Golden's book, Dark Disciple. Subscribe so you'll be notified when I do that review. Have a good day.